For our housing loan that we took, many of us, if you're in your 30s today and all the way if you're 70 years of age, back then, we would likely have chosen the floating or the short-term rates than the longer-term rates. However, everything changed in 2022. Now, we are more likely to choose the longer-term loan rates over the floating rates. Why is this so? Because today's the longer-term loan rates are lower than the floating rates. And this phenomenon is called the inverted yield. And we are seeing this in the 70s and 80s. There was a period of inverted yields and different markets moved accordingly as expected. And today we are seeing the inverted yield once again. And the same market are moving in a manner that is very similar to those in the 70s and 80s. And today we'll do a comparison between the 70s and today's inverted yield. And please let me know what are the opportunities that you are seeing after this tutorial. What market are moving? My name is Khan Hao. My work in this channel as always is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. How do we identify that the yield curve is inverted? And the yellow is the two years and the orange is the 10 years yield or the loan rate. And the market watcher always like to use between these two tenure, the 210 loan rates or the 210 yield. Now, in a healthy yield curve is that the two years, the loan rate or the interest rate is always lower than the 10 years. But when the yield curve is inverted, that we could see that since July 2022, the two years yield or the loan rate today is higher than the 10 years. And this is what I call the inverted yield. And we're going to do a comparison on the 70s, when the yield curve got inverted, what happened to all these market and gold in the inflation and interest rate. Then after that, we're going to compare to uh, this season when the yield curve is inverted, what is happening to the gold, the interest inflation, and the interest rate. Now let's take a look at what happened to August 1978. And before that, the yield curve was healthy. And then specifically in August 1978, the yield curve started to get inverted. And what happened to the goal? The goal went up. Then after that, when the yield curve got healthy again, it, the goal went down to about 200 or 300 US dollars in the millennials. And August 1978, that was when the yield curve got inverted. And what happened to the inflation? The inflation flew. And then what happened to August 1978 when the yield curve got inverted, the interest rate went up the roof. And let's look at what happened to the yield curve. It got inverted starting from July 2022. And let's look at what happened to the goal. And before that, we could see that uh, before the yield curve got inverted in 1978, the goal was doing a bit of range bound, then it come broke this high and went up a lot. And what happened to the recent move in the uh, goal when the yield curve got inverted in July 2022? And let's take a look at what happened to the goal. And this was when the yield curve got inverted in this season. And before that, the goal was also doing around range bound here. Then now the goal have broke this year to uh, 2,000 US dollars and it's here. Now, I would say that as long as the yield curve is inverted, the goal will have more upside goal. And what happened to the inflation when the yield curve got inverted in July 2022 this season? Now, you may say that it looks a bit different, the image, but I would say that they are very similar. Now, back in the 70s, now remember this August 1978, this was the period when the yield curve first got inverted. And before that, it was a healthy yield curve, but inflation already started baking up. There, there is retracement. And same here is that the yield curve in this season got inverted in July 2022. But before that, the yield curve got inverted, the inflation also went up. And today, we're in a retracement. Can you see there's a similar behavior or pattern here? There's always a risk 
that the inflation may pick up again. And that's the reason why Jerome Powell never make a very firm statement that it's going to cut interest rate because his predecessor did this mistake where when the inflation went down, he cut the interest rate and then the inflation went up. And he's very careful about this. Now, as long as the yield curve remain inverted, there's always a risk that the inflation may continue to move up. And let's look at the interest rate when the yield curve got inverted in July 2022. And you can see that it broke this downtrend line. And now we're here. And there's a risk of interest rate may continue to climb. Very similar to the August 78. There's also a downtrend line. If you would like to draw that, it broke and the interest rate went the roof and let's look at the yield curve as long as the yield curve stay inverted i would like to deploy a hedge uh, between all this yield and of course um, all will move in tandem together but because the yield curve is inverted the two years yield or the short term yield or the loan will move faster than the rest and how about the stock market during the inverted yield in the 70s, the Dow Jones was very volatile and they were trading in a huge range of about 30 to 40% up and down and up and down. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I'd love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.